When God created man, one of the very things he did was to make pronouncements of blessings upon man's life. God has said you will be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it, and you will have dominion over the fish of the sea and every other thing in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. Those blessings are still valid today as long as you are a child of God. You will see multiplication in your life, your family, your business, and everything that concerns you. God will cause you to dominate and rule even here on earth. You have dominion over powers and rulers over the world. You rule over sickness, poverty, stagnation, and failure. All those things do not have the power to hold you down because you have been blessed by God. And when God blesses you, no man can reverse it. When he opens a door in your life, no man can shut it. It is his seal upon your life, and wherever you go, you carry that identity with you. Whether in the country or in the city, you are blessed. You experience God's blessings. You will receive favor from every end, including your enemies. You will rise high on the wings of the sun. You will accomplish feats that seems impossible to the normal man. That is what God's blessings can and will do in your life. You will prosper and flourish, blossom and multiply. People will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. You will not be an ordinary person that can be overlooked anymore. Rather, God's blessings will come into your life and make you a person that all wants to associate with. Your identity in Christ alone is a blessing. Do you know what it means to be the son of the Most High God? the creator of the universe, the owner of the ends of the earth? Do you know what it means to be numbered with the most powerful force and personality that ever existed and will ever exist? You are part of a royal lineage now. You carry Christ's blood within your veins. That is what makes you a blessed person. Go round with that consciousness. Carry yourself as one from a royal lineage because that is what you are. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and that alone comes with its own significance and attendant blessings. You are princes and princesses in your father's kingdom and have everything at your disposal and care. Live like one and make good use of the blessings God has given to you. You should know that you are blessed of the Lord and no one or nothing can reverse that. What the Lord is said to do in your life will be a marvel and a wonder to all that surrounds you. The children of Israelites had God's blessings upon them, that it came to the notice of all that surrounded them. They were unconquerable and continued to multiply both in the land of Egypt while they were still in slavery when they got out of Egypt. King Balak knew that he could not defeat these people because they were already blessed, and so he went to call on prophet Balaam to curse them. At every time Balaam opened his mouth to speak, what came out were blessings. Do you see how powerful God's blessings can be? Yes, you become unconquerable and no one can reverse those blessings on your life. People will have no choice than to bow to your God. They will just have to acknowledge God's presence in your life. You will receive favor wherever you go and experience multiplication in your life. Whatever you lay your hands to do will surely prosper and you will experience joy, happiness, fulfillment like never before. It does not matter your present condition. What killed others will not kill you. You will not die, but you will live to declare the goodness of God in your life. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will put a new song in your mouth this day. You will be fruitful and you will multiply in the name of Jesus. From today, nobody will look down on you. All those that do not regard you as anything will start respecting you from today. In the name of Jesus. I pray for your family this day. 
you all will experience God's grace and favor in the name of Jesus. The Lord will shield you and your household from every form of evil and darkness in the name of Jesus. Whatever are the plans of the enemy designed to bring destruction in your home will not come to pass in the name of Jesus. Whoever wants to see the downfall of your family will be put to shame in the name of Jesus. The Lord will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right, but they will not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you see the reward of the wicked in the name of Jesus. You will not see evil in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Surely they may gather, but inasmuch as their gathering is not of God, they will scatter. Therefore, I declare that every gathering that is not of God over your life and family shall scatter in the name of Jesus. I pray for your source of income today. You will not experience a loss in the name of Jesus. The Lord will open the floodgates of heaven and He will pour out His blessings upon you in the name of Jesus. You will never lack anything in your life. You will lend to nations and you will not borrow. The economic situation of your country will not affect you. And when men are saying there is a casting down, you will say there is a lifting up. You will grow from grace to grace and from strength to strength. You will never run dry and everything you need for turning life and godliness, the Lord will provide for you. This is the day the Lord has made and you will rejoice and be glad. This day you shall know no pain, disappointment and bad news. The Lord will direct your path this day. He will not dash your feet against a stone. The Lord that led the children of Israelites in the wilderness for forty years will never leave or forsake you. The Lord will make your life this day a living testimony for others to see and glorify God. I pray for good health over your life this day. You will not fall sick. Your family member will not fall sick. The Lord will give you strength in your body. What killed others will not kill you. What others are suffering from, you will not suffer from it in the name of Jesus. I pray that whatever has been causing discomfort in your body, today the Lord will give you rest. If there is hereditary sickness that has been flowing in your family, you will pass over it. I destroy any covenant that is not of God in your life and family. In the name of Jesus, you will not die before your time. Whoever does not want you alive will see you get blessed by God. The Lord will fight your battles. Whoever blesses you will be blessed, and whoever causes you shall be caused. There is no sickness that the Lord cannot heal. If He could heal a man that was born blind, then know that your condition is nothing he cannot handle. It does not matter what the doctors have said. The Lord will change your situation. There is nothing God cannot do. The Lord will break protocol on your behalf this day in the name of Jesus. The Lord will heal you from every sickness that looks impossible to cure. This is your time. This is your season. The Lord will give you peace that supersedes human comprehension in the name of Jesus. People will be surprised at what the Lord will do in your life. All those that thought nothing good will ever come out of you will come back and celebrate you in the name of Jesus.